Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again today for another game review. And today I'm very excited to check it out. Where's Mr. Wolf from Blue Orange Games? This is for one to four players. Age is four plus. It'll take you about, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes to play. And in Where's Mr. Wolf, you are trying to run your barnyard as effectively as you can because there is a wolf. It is coming and he is going to absolutely decimate all of your animals so what your job is to do is to get your animals into these really cool looking 3d hen houses if you can successfully get all the exact correct combinations of animals into hen houses before the wolf gets there then you will win this game in this light simple cooperative game it's light it's for children but it's good let's open it up and i'll tell you what i think Alrighty then, we're going to take a look at what you're going to get inside of Where's Mr. Wolf. So first and foremost, we have a handy dandy back of the box. It's one big thing. It's got some pictures, some illustrations. Very well done. Should have you up and running in no time at all. I can also teach you how to play the game right now because it is a very simple game. So in Where's Mr. Wolf, you are going to be playing actually inside of the box and trying to get all the animals safely to their pens over here, which are these cool little uh, 3D pens that are actually pre-set up when you get the game. Try to get them into your pens before the evil Mr. Wolf is able to boop, 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 get into the barnyard and, you know, eat them all. How you're gonna do that is you're going to be cooperatively flipping over these tiles and then deciding whether or not they need to go into the barnyard. What am I talking about? Let's go over the components. Let's get into the gameplay. So first and foremost, obviously, we got the board here. It's a little bit wobbly, but it works perfectly serviceable. It's on top of the box, which is cool. You're going to have these little tiles, which will have different animals on them, and some of them will have the wolf on them. Uh, and if you get the one with the wolf on it, the wolf moves forward one space. If the wolf ever gets into the barnyard, game over. The other way you can lose the game is by having the wrong animals or not enough animals in your, your hen houses, I guess we'll call them. So how the game works is, on your turn, you are going to flip over <clears throat> one of the tiles... And then you are going to see if it goes into any one of these. So this one would go into here. But the thing is, at the end of the game, or when you say the game is over, you have to have exactly one pig in here and exactly one duck in here. If you have two pigs, game over. So right now I'm like, uh, have we already put a pig in there? I don't remember. Yeah, we have not put a pig in there, so I will slide the pig right into there. Next player goes, they flip it over, they say, ah, pig! Have we put a pig in there? And the obvious answer is yes, we have not put a pig in there. But if they did put a pig in there, then the game would be over once they realize that they put a pig in there. So they set this off to the side in what's called the farmyard, and then we keep going. And it's like, oh, we got a ram. Do we need a ram in any one of these? Nope, we don't. So we set it off to the side and flip this one over. Oh, we got ourselves a sheep. Uh, have we already put a sheep in here? And it'd be like, uh, no, I don't think so. We haven't put a sheep in there. Anywho, you're going to continue to go, as I mentioned, until... Mr. Wolf gets to the farmyard, in which case, game over. Or until you think that you have put these two animals, these two animals, these two animals, and these two animals into their houses. At which point, you will reveal, and if you are exactly correct, meaning you have uh, just the right number of, of these circles in there that match the corresponding animals, then you will win the game. If you do not, then you will lose the game. Now... There also are extra tiles you can use to bump up the difficulty, and these will have three animals on them as opposed to two animals on them. And let me tell you, uh, it actually does make a really big difference once you start playing with these. But that in a nutshell is what you're going to do inside of Where's Mr. Wolf? Alright then, where's Mr. Wolf from Blue Orange Games? One of my final thoughts. Let's go over the pros, let's go over the cons. First, on the con side, game's not going to be for everybody for a variety of different reasons. One to four players aren't restricted player count. Also, fully cooperative, so if you're not in the market for a fully cooperative children slash family game, this one will not be for you. Even the advanced version of the game is cooperative. Speaking, children's versus family, you know, if you're not in the market for a children or family game, if you have no interest in playing this game with children, this game is just not going to be for you. Pure and simple. Also, this game, I would say, has somewhat of an limited, limited age range. So what I mean by that is I played this with my five-year-old, who's right about in the target market. He really enjoyed the game. I played it with some six, seven, and eight-year-olds in my class. Once I got to the nine and ten-year-olds, the game was a little bit too simplistic for them. So I would put the age cap on this about four years old to maybe eight-ish 
depending on the maturity level of your kids. Now, that being said, take that with a grain of salt because those 9 and 10 year olds that I was playing this game with also play a lot of other games, including, you know, a lot of other lighter hobby games. So they're just used to more choices and more decisions, which this game does not really have, which is another con. You know, the choices in this game are definitely lacking. The only choice in this game is, all right, which one am I going to flip over and then will I put it in there? And being a cooperative game, this game can be taken over by alpha gamers, especially with kids who are just excited to play the game and don't realize they're being an alpha gamer. They're just like, oh my gosh, we already got a chicken. We got a chicken. Throw it to the side. We got a chicken. Throw it to the side. Oh, we got a duck. We have two ducks, actually. So just throw it to the side. Throw it to the side. And it's like, eh, it kind of strips away a little bit of the enjoyment. But, you know, that's where, that's where you have good talks with your kids and say, hey, buddy, part of the fun of this game is trying to let other people figure stuff out themselves too so you can kind of you can kind of poke your head in after they've decided things but you know don't don't be such a jerk about it and just say hey throw that away um but yeah i believe that's what i got on the con side any other cons nope moving on to the pros where's mr wolf is a great children's slash family game that i can easily recommend if you have kids ages four to six or seven years old uh so i played it with my son he really enjoyed it the kids in my class the younger ones really enjoyed the game and there's a lot to like about it so first and foremost it looks good it's very visually appealing you got the cool little hen houses they're pre-constructed all the components are very nice i like the fact that it's compact and it comes in just this box and the rules are on the back of the box you don't have to keep going to the rule sheets the rule, the back of the rule box is well done. It should have you up and running in no time at all. I like the fact there is an advanced difficulty, and you will need the advanced difficulty. Uh, just the difficulty that comes out of the game is relatively simple. It's just eight animals you have to remember. But once you start getting up to 10, 11, 12 of these animals, let me tell you, it really does make a difference, especially depending on your player count, too. And that's another thing. Player count will definitely kind of well you know i don't even know if it's player count it's just how good your memory is another thing that i liked about the game you can play it solo kids can play it solo by themselves in fact i let a kid after we had played play this solo by himself he did he played it like two or three times he enjoyed it so if you're in the market for a solo children slash family game this is definitely one i can recommend and just to delineate what children and family means to me because a lot of people lump those two together I consider a children's game to be a game where kids, once they know how to play it, can play it by themselves and teach it to other kids by themselves. Kind of like Uno minus the scoring. So this I would put definitely put in that children's game category. And uh, I, I think that kid could have very easily taught this to other children. So, where's Mr. Wolf? In the end, if you're in the market for a children's slash family game that is only going to last you until, I'd say, about the kids are 9 or 10 years old, yes, definitely pull the trigger on this one. I think it's a great children's slash family game. You're not going to hate it. You're going to enjoy watching your kids play it. It's a little bit repetitive, but still a good one to recommend and check out. That is Where's Mr. Wolf from Blue Orange Game, especially if your kids are younger. Like, I think if you get this for four and five-year-olds, you're going to be playing this game for a very long time. I know my son's probably already logged about five to ten plays of this. He really enjoys this game. If you enjoyed this review, please sure to click on that subscribe button down below or in the comments below. Let me know. Have you ever had duck? For me personally, yes, I've had duck quite a few times. I only get it every when I'm at the Chinese buffet, though, which makes me wonder if it's not really the best duck, because, I mean, really, what's who, which Chinese buffet has the best food? Uh, I like it. You know, it's a little bit greasier than I might like. I, I think I feel like it'd be really good with bread, like a greasy duck sandwich where the bread kind of, you know, soaks up a little bit of the grease. I think that'd be good. Let me know in the comments below. If you're a duck, and as always, thanks for your time, YouTube.